Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, the Honorable Gaston Brown, providing an update on the fiscal accounts for September. September and October are very difficult revenue months for the government. I'm told that um, for September that uh, all but $6 million of um, revenue would have been covered, or at least the money to pay salaries and wages would have been covered. So we've just given instructions today to transfer another $6 million um, from a CIP fund that we have a global, global bank of commerce in order to ensure that the remaining of um, public servants are paid. The head of government reminded the House two items of expenditure, salaries and wages, as well as debt repayment or amortization, account for 110% of tax revenues. He says that is why the Citizenship by Investment program has been so useful as a non-tax revenue source. But the reason why there would have been the salaries and wages would have been maybe a day or two late and, and, and for some individuals is because there was a shortfall in revenue and we may have a similar situation in October but whenever that arises and we have other funds we transfer accordingly to, to cover the payments. He also rejects arguments suggesting the elimination of personal income taxes hurt revenues. He says the reverse is true because increased disposable income has had a major multiplier effect in driving aggregate demand in the economy. I want the member for Barbuda to understand the correlation in eliminating personal income tax, increasing disposable incomes, which consequently would increase savings and investments as well as um, consumption. And when consumption increases, then your taxes would increase indirectly. So there are no losses. And then if you look at the evidence of government's um, revenues for the last five years, they have been increasing. He says the government's philosophical fiscal position is to focus more on indirect or consumption taxes instead of direct taxes such as personal income tax.